ya la, la, ya la, la, ya 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 Hi, my name is Andrew Burroughs, local entrepreneur, owner of a company called My Bahamas Sponge. I got into sponging business several years ago as a result of a trip that I took to Mangrove Key Andros. At the time, I had visited Mangrove Key on, on many occasions, but I never had the privilege of going to the other end of Mangrove Key in a settlement called Little Harbor. It was upon going down there to spend some time with my wife that I saw a lot of sponges all around the place and I asked the lady, Miss Moxie, at the place where I was staying, that I thought sponges was dead. And her answer to me was that sponges was a way of living for most of the men on the island. And so that kind of piqued my curiosity. And so I contemplated and drove down to the shore and started speaking with some of the men and, and had them tell, giving me a little history about the sponges. Because up to that time, I had only known a little about sponging from what I'd seen on television and, and read in one or two books. So my knowledge of the sponging industry was, was, was quite small. I took the opportunity to, to engage uh, Mr. Ezra Green and one or two of the other men that were in the sponging business at the time. And they gave me uh, first-hand information about how they went about sponging and the length of time it took to, to get the sponges. And so I spent the rest of the time there just engaging them in conversation about the possibilities of getting into the sponging industry. But at that time, I didn't have the, the means to do it. I uh, left the island and, and went back home and the opportunity presented itself about two years later. And I was able to go into Mangrove Key and get myself a boat. That would have been in September of 2011. And so at that time, I, I, I started my career as a spongeman. My background is actually in IT. And so obviously this is 180 degrees from what I had been doing because I had been heavily involved in technology. But I had I'd gotten to the point where I wanted a change in my career. And so when I saw the opportunity and I spoke to the gentleman about it, um, and I also prayed to God and asked God guidance for me in that area. And so once the decision was made, I, I saw it as a viable entity. Now my main focus in getting into the sponging industry was to be able to export sponges out of the country because I, by that time I, I, I knew of the, the rich history that the Bahamas had when it comes to sponging. Uh, the first commercial sponges was exported out of this country in 1843. And uh, I don't know if a lot of people realize it, but the reason why we have uh, the Greek community that's in the Bahamas is here largely because of the sponging industry. And they would have been here from that time, and, and that's why they own so much real estate in the downtown area. This, this was uh, a way of life for them. And they came from a country that did sponging, and they came here when they found out that the Bahamas also had a lot of uh, beautiful sponges. And so that's how I, I became interested. Um, I was fascinated with the, with the opportunity because now we are in the internet age. The internet has been able to level the playing field in a way for small businesses that 20, 30 years ago would have been virtually impossible because you would not have been able to pay for the advertising and the exposure of a company uh, trying to get your name out there in the field. And so I'm able to now, today, uh, I have a website up and so I'm able to advertise on the internet using my website uh, for a fraction of the cost of what it would have cost me going through tradition, traditional means of advertising. And so I see this opportunity as us presenting a piece of our history when it comes to sponging to the world. For the most part, the Bahamians who are in the sponging industry simply go out and get the sponges out of the sea. And 90% of the sponges that they collect are, are purchased through local Greek people who live in the Bahamas and they turn around and then they export the sponge to different factories, whether it's France, whether it's Italy, whether it's Greece, whether it's Tappan Springs, Florida. And so I wanted to put a twist on that. I wanted to 
make my product not just a raw sponge that would be exported out of this country, but also a finished product. And by finished product, I mean that you can actually take my sponge and you would be able to, to use it for whatever application you wanted, whether it's bathing, whether it's washing the dishes, whether it's washing your car, your pet, whatever application you want. The sponge that I, that I refine are sponges that they can be used immediately for whatever purpose it, it is uh, made for. I have two of them with me today, the grass sponge, the wool sponge, the reef sponge, and the hardhead sponge. And so those are the commercially viable sponges that we find here in the Bahamas. It's my goal and my intentions to expose myself to a lot of young people so that they can see their, their opportunities in, other than the traditional means of work. But I want to first put myself in a position where I am knowledgeable about what I'm talking about. I have my uh, mark